Hey everybody, it's Liz again. Hello, hello, YouTube Live. Here we are live again. Um, and as I always say, we are live on YouTube every Wednesday at 1 p.m. So if you're joining me, say hello, um, post a comment, and let me know what you're working on, where you're joining from. Um, today's going to be a little different. I'm always, as always, I'm going to do my little crochet tutorial. Um, and if somebody joins and has a question, you know, I can answer any questions. I don't have too much to show you that I've been working on um, because the stuff I have is like not completed enough. So, but I do have kind of a long tutorial for you today. So we're still going to um, have a good amount of time. What we're talking about today is a pattern. So this is the Afghan block. Okay, so this is called the Princess Puff Stitch Afghan Block. And I put a link in the description. So this is a free pattern um, over on uh, Crochet Magazine. So all you have to do is click on the link and print off this pattern and you can work along with me for this uh, square. So what I'm gonna do, and the reason I'm doing this is because I get a lot of people telling me that they have a hard time with written patterns like this. So I'm going to go over step by step um, each of the steps how to make this block. So that way this pattern has a lot of like stars and brackets and things like that that get confusing. So we're going to go through that so you can learn how to do that. And if you also like um, simple crochet, which I personally like too, there is a class over on Annie's Creative Studio that's all about how to read symbol crochet. So that's another way. So of course, as you know, in a crochet pattern, you've got the written instructions, and then sometimes you'll also get that symbol. So if you have a hard time with that, check out Annie's Creative Studio. Um, there's a symbol crochet class, and there's tons of other classes um, that you can learn crochet, knitting, um, sewing, quilting, everything you can think of if you're crafty. <laughs> so let's just jump right into it. Like I said, I don't see anybody yet, but please say hello if you are here uh, joining me live. And if you are watching the replay, then um, go ahead and click the link, print out your pattern, and you can work along with me for this pretty princess puff square afghan block. Okay, I'm going to move my phone so we can get started. And I'm just gonna move this down. Okay, Brenda's here. Hi, Brenda. Okay, let me just get my phone adjusted here. I think that's good. Um, can still see my hands. It's not angled perfectly, but I think you can see everything. Here's the pattern, you guys. Like I said, you can print it and work along with me. Um, it's only five rounds, so it shouldn't be too bad. And it's got all these really pretty puff stitches. And um, this one that I made is with a five millimeter hook and it's a worsted weight yarn, this premier worsted weight yarn. There's Jenny, hi Jenny. Okay, good, I'm glad the angle is okay. I, I usually don't like to have this background here, but I don't wanna like drop my, <laughs> drop my, um, tripod and then have a real disaster. So this one is a worsted weight yarn and this one is a fingering weight yarn. So you can see the difference. And Roberta says, hi from Michigan. Hi, Roberta. I'm so glad you're joining me. So see how you've got this, obviously, if you're using the, the bigger yarn, you're going to get a bigger square. So you can do this square with any weight that you like. So for the demo, I'm going to show you the worsted weight. And I'm going to use my um, five with this yarn, you can use probably a five or a five and a half would be fine. I'm going to go with the five and see how that works. We're going to uh, start with a chain of four, one, two, three, and four. And I always like to tell people like when you're talking about your hooks, even if you, um, one time I was making something and I started off with like, like a brand of hook and I don't know if I lost it or what happened, but I tried to finish the, the project with another brand. And even though it was the same size, it was completely different. So I suggest even if you are, uh, you know, 
make sure you use the same size hook, but make sure you use the same hook that you were using because it could actually change uh, your pattern. So round one is with uh, H hook, chain four, and slip stitch in the first chain to form a ring. So in the first chain, yeah. So this is the first chain, not this, it's really the fourth chain from the hook, but it's the first chain that you made. So you're gonna slip stitch into there and that forms our little ring. And then we are going to chain up three to get our height, one, two, three. And then we're gonna work 11 double crochet into this uh, ring that we made. So just kind of put the tail over like that. And a double crochet is yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through two and pull through two. Jenny says, where can I get the pattern? So Jenny, I, oh, I, um, I have to put the link in the comments because um, on when I, when I went live, it wasn't able, um, like I wasn't able to put um, in a description, my little description that I had. So um, I usually have to go put it in afterwards, but um, so it'll be in the description, but it's not in there in the live, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, did, I did have a link, but um, I wasn't able to post it because it just gives you like the option to post a title. So one, two, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Okay, and then we've got so then we've got our 11, and this is the first one, which is 12. So we're gonna go one, two, three, and slip stitch in that third chain from the beginning chain three. Okay, so now we have 12 uh, double crochet in the ring. And now, so for round two, we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you it since, since I wasn't able to post it. I'll be able to post it in the um, description, but I can't do it while I'm live, unfortunately. So here we go, beginning puff stitch, and that is chain up three, and then you're gonna go yarn over, and in the same space, you're gonna pull up a loop, so you, and then kind of pull it up to give it some height, and then yarn over again, and pull it up again to give it some height, and that's a puff stitch. This is the beginning puff stitch. So you, you do the yarn over twice and then you yarn over and you pull through all of those loops that are on your hook, okay? So it says beginning puff stitch, that's what we just did. And then star chain one puff stitch in next stitch twice. So here's the brackets, right? So everything that's in the brackets is what we're gonna do twice. Okay, so we're gonna do chain one puff stitch in the next stitch twice, and then we'll move on to the next step. So here's a chain one, here's the next, make sure I'm going in the next stitch, here's the next stitch. So a puff stitch is one, two, and three for this pattern. Okay, so I did chain one puff stitch and I have to do that twice. So chain one puff stitch again in the next stitch. One, two, and three. Yarn over, pull through all those loops on the hook. Okay, so now we're gonna work our corner. So whenever you have a round and um, you need to turn it into a square, you have to make corners. So it says right here in the pattern, and I'm gonna go through it step by step. So see how we did our star and what was in the, well, the star we're gonna, we, we kind of ignored until now. So here's our brackets, we did that twice. Then we're gonna do a chain five and that's gonna be our corner. And then we're gonna puff stitch in the next stitch. And then it wants you to repeat from star. So then we're gonna go back, here's our star. 
So after we do the chain five, we're gonna do everything from the star on, and we're gonna do that all around, okay? And then the two stars, that just means that we're gonna end, we're gonna do the last repeat at the two stars. So the last stitch that we should be doing is the chain five. That should be our last step if we're doing it right. And if, if um, you'll know if you did it wrong because you won't be on that step. So chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and puff stitch in the next stitch, okay? So that uh, chain five forms our corner. So one, two, and three. That's our puff stitch. Pull that all the way through. Um, Okay, and then we're gonna go back to this from, from the star. So the star was what was in the brackets. Chain one, puff stitch tw twice. So that's once, chain one, puff stitch in next stitch. This is twice. And we're repeating it all around. So we're gonna do our corner again. One, two, three, four, five. Puff stitch in the next stitch. One, two, and three. And then we're gonna do what was in the brackets again, which was chain one and puff stitch in the next stitch, and we're doing that twice. So we did chain one, here's our puff stitch. That was once chain one and puff stitch in the next stitch. This is twice. Now our corner again, one, two, three, four, and five, and then puff stitch in the next stitch. One, two, and three yarn overs and then pull through all of those loops on the hook. Now see we have two more stitches left um, and we're gonna do what was in the brackets again. So that's a chain one and puff stitch. One, two, three. And make sure when you're doing your puff stitches you sort of pull that yarn up so you get the height that you need. And chain one and puff stitch again. One, two, and three. Yarn over, pull through. Now remember I said we're ending at the star star. So we did this all around. We did our brackets three times and then at, um, we're ending at this repeat. So the last thing we should do is chain five, which is our corner, okay? So then after we end at the last repeat, we're gonna join in the beginning puff stitch. So see, this is the thing we're ending at, which is our chain five corner. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna join it to the beginning puff stitch, which is this stitch right here, with a slip stitch. So now, because we made those pretty corners, we have a square. We've turned our circle into a square. Okay, on to round three. So we're gonna slip stitch in the next chain space, and then we're gonna beginning puff stitch in the same chain space. Okay, so we're gonna have to move over to get to that chain space. So here's our beginning puff stitch. Here's the next chain space, that's, that's closest. So we just slip stitch into there. And that moves us to the middle um, because we wanna do a puff stitch in this chain space and a puff stitch in this chain space. Okay, so we did the slip stitch and now we're gonna beginning puff in the same chain space. So our beginning puff is one, two, three, Yarn over, pull up, and we're in that same chain space. 
twice. So with the beginning puff, we do the yarn over twice. With the regular puff, we do it three times. Yarn over and pull through all of those loops. Okay, so now we did our beginning puff. Now we're gonna do chain one, puff in the next chain space, chain two, five double crochet in the next chain space, chain two. So that's a lot, we're gonna go through it step by step. We did the uh, puff in the same chain space, now we're gonna do chain, wait, let me make sure I'm doing the right thing here. Puff in the next chain space. Okay, so chain one, puff in the next chain space, which is right here, that space between our two puffs of the previous round. And this is our regular puff, so we do three yarn overs, pull through everything. And then we're gonna do a chain two and five double crochet in the next chain space. So this is the next chain space. Chain two, and we're gonna work five double crochet into this corner. So whenever you uh, do a corner like this, you have to continue to increase at the corners because if you don't always increase at the corners with every round, um, it'll end up curling up and it won't lay flat. You have to always like turn that corner like, like a wheel of a car. One, two, three, four, five, and then we're gonna chain two again. So I'm gonna show you where we ended so you can see how to read this pattern. We did five double crochet in the chain space and then we did a chain two. So now we've got a double star. So it says here, puff in the next chain space and then repeat from star. So once we puff in the next chain space, we're gonna go right back to here. Chain one, puff in the, in the next chain space, chain two, five double crochet. And that we're gonna repeat that all the way around and just like in this uh, round, we're gonna end at star star, which is a chain two. So we did our chain two. Here's the next chain space. We're gonna puff in here. One, two, and three. Pull through there. Chain one, puff in the next chain space. One, two, and three. And then chain two, five double crochet in the corner. One, two, three, four, five. So I think this is a good uh, like beginner exercise for people who are, have a little, you know, maybe aren't real confident about reading patterns. So if you go through a few of them step by step like this, then you'll you'll get it down in no time, and you'll you'll start to remember, you know, where all the what all these stars and brackets and everything else means. I've heard of a lot of people that have been crocheting for years and years, and don't really um, feel comfortable with reading patterns. They're like expert crocheters, but not really, for whatever reason, I guess just never felt confident enough to get through all that pattern language, which it can be a little daunting when you first start to look at it. One, two, th it's like me with knitting patterns. I feel like when I look at a knitting pattern, I'm like, what, this does, none of this makes sense. <laughs> so it's just one of those things that you have to Keep practicing and you'll get it. Okay, so we did our puff stitch here. Chain one and puff stitch here. Then we're on the corner, so we do our chain two, one, two. Five double crochet in there. One, two. Three, four, and five. 
and I'll probably do this about once a month um, where we do one of these afghan blocks and just go through the whole uh, you know the whole pattern step by step with you so I'll let you know when I when I do those okay so here's where we're supposed to end ending last repeat at star star and here's my star star chain two so let's see did I do that right yep I'm in the last corner and it looks like right there I just need a chain two one and two Okay, that completes my corner, and then we're going to join in the beginning puff stitch, which is right here. So we'll just join with a slip stitch. Okay, and that was round three. Now for round four, we're gonna slip stitch in the next chain space, beginning puff stitch in the same chain space, Chain two, skip the next stitch. Here's some brackets again. We've got double crochet in next stitch, chain one in the bracket, so we're gonna do that twice. So here's brackets and then we've got parentheses too. So it can get a little confusing, but let's just do it step by step. Let's see if I can leave this here so you can kind of see it. So We joined in this puff. Now we're gonna slip stitch to this chain space, which is the next chain space. And then we're gonna work our puff stitch in that same space. This is our beginning puff, which starts with a chain three, and then two yarn over. So one and two. Chain two. Skip next stitch, double crochet in next stitch, chain one twice. And that looks like this. Chain two. Skip the next stitch. Now, really it should say skip the next chain space too because we're actually skipping the chain space too. Um, but it doesn't. So sometimes you have to just kind of think about it. So see how it says um, skip chain two, skip the next stitch, double crochet in next stitch, chain one twice. We're doing that into the double crochets. So technically we're skipping the puff and the chain. And we're going straight to these corner double crochets. And we're gonna do double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, that's twice. So double crochet, chain one, double crochet in the next stitch twice. Now because um, this one just says double crochet, chain one, three times in the next stitch, all of these have to be worked in the same stitch. Here we did it in the next stitch. So you just have to be careful about you know the wording because it's very different. So this looks like this. Double crochet, chain one, three times double crochet, chain one in the same stitch, double crochet, chain one, that was twice in the same stitch, double crochet, chain one, three times. See, so we did it three times in the same stitch. That's what that looked like. Double crochet in the next stitch, chain one, double crochet in the next stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch, chain one, double crochet in the next stitch. And we had to do that, remember, because we have to keep um, increasing at the corners. So that's why we did all of those stitches into that one middle corner stitch. We did that, so now we're gonna chain two, skip the next stitch, um, puff in the next stitch, repeat from star, okay? So let me just, before I go through it all, I'm gonna do it step by step. Chain one, double crochet, wait a second, I get myself confused here. We did that, double crochet and next stitch, chain one, double crochet and next stitch, we did that. Chain two, skip the next chain space, okay. So chain two, 
skip the next chain space, which is this one. We're skipping the puff also, and we're going into this chain space to do our puff. One, two, and three. Pull through all of those loops. Okay, so we just did that. We did um, chain two, skip the next chain space, pu puff stitch in the next chain space. Now we're back to repeat from star. Chain two, skip the puff and the chain, and then we do what was in the brackets. One, do that twice. Now in that middle double crochet, which is in the, what's in the parentheses, we do double crochet chain one three times. So that's once, twice, and three times all in the same stitch. And then we do double crochet in the next stitch, chain one, double crochet in the last stitch, or the last stitch of the corner, I should say. And then we're skipping this space, we're skipping the puff, and we're working in that chain space. So we're gonna do chain two, and go right to that middle space with a puff stitch. Chain two. Here's what was in the brackets, which was double crochet, chain one, and, and double crochet, chain one in the next stitch twice. We did that twice. Here's our corner where we work everything into the same stitch. And then we do double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. Okay, we're skipping this and this. We're gonna do a chain two, and we're gonna puff right in the middle. So one, two, three. Chain two again. We're skipping the puff and the chain again, and we're going to these double crochets. So we are definitely doing step-by-step. Step. I told you we were gonna do step-by-step, step, and we're doing step-by-step. Step. One, two, three. And I think most people are visual learners. Um, I think a lot of things like with me when I try to crochet it, if I just read it, I'm like, hmm, this is a little too much for my brain. But as soon as I see someone do it, um, it makes a whole lot more sense. Okay, so now let's see where we are ending. We're supposed to end at, here's where um, we're ending at where the two stars are. So see, it says ending last repeat at the two stars. So the two stars are chain two and skip the next chain space. So that seems about right. So we're skipping this chain space here and we're just gonna chain two to fill in that gap and slip stitch to the beginning puff stitch uh, like we have been for all the rounds. And that looks right. And I always try to lay it down flat and make sure it's a square because you'll know if you skipped a step, it'll start to go wonky on you. But this looks like a good square. And we are on our last round. This one, the way it's worded, and like I said, sometimes you have to kind of, sometimes they're not worded the greatest. This one says chain one, single crochet in each stitch and two in each chain space around with three single crochet in the center corner stitch. Join in the beginning single crochet. So it's a little tricky, but basically what you're, you have to do is single crochet in each stitch 
And if you see a chain space that has two, so a chain two space, you have to put two single crochets in there. So basically you're just, so we're gonna start with a chain one, single crochet. All we're really doing on this round is working a little uh, single crochet border. So if you're doing something where you're gonna, so what I'm doing is just putting one single cro crochet into the chain spaces and one single crochet into the double crochets. Now remember about our corner, we, we still have to increase on the corner even though we're just doing our little border. So here's my uh, middle double crochet of all of these double crochets. This is the middle one. So we're just gonna work three single crochets into there. And anytime you're doing anything, that's that would be how you would do a corner. So whenever you wanna turn the corner, just put three stitches in the same stitch, whether it's double, single, whatever type of stitch you're using. Um, just put three in that corner and you'll turn the corner. Another way you can do it is single crochet, chain one, single crochet in the same corner. But three is usually a good number <clears throat> when, you're, when you're turning a corner. I mean, if you try to shove like five in there, I mean, depending on what your corner looks like, three is kind of a, you know, like a standard. Okay, so now here's my, here's where I have two chains. So we just simply put two single crochets in there. So as long as you have one single crochet for every stitch that you did, I'm doing one in the puff stitch, um, doing two in this chain two space, then that's all you really have to do around is just make sure you've got an even amount of, sti of stitches. And the chain one counts as a stitch. So aside from your corners, you're just gonna do one stitch in each stitch. Here's our corner, so we're gonna put three in there. One, two, three. And then we're gonna continue with one single crochet in each stitch and in each chain space. And here's another two. And now this is something you could modify too with these types of patterns. So if you're, um, if you like this block and you decide you wanna make a blanket out of it or a pillow, um, a baby blanket, whatever you wanna make out of it, you don't necessarily have to do this last round because this is just a border. So if you would rather um, make a bunch of these and then do like a join as you go technique to um, you know, join them all together, you can do that too. And then you don't really have to worry about this border. If you like the border like this, then you would have to sew all the pieces together or um, do like a slip stitch seaming to, to get all the pieces sewn together. So you can, you know, modify it in different ways. I like to do the join as you go because I don't love to sew things together. Although um, like a slip stitch join or a single crochet join is always pretty on afghans and blankets too. So I don't mind doing that. We're going to single crochet in the puff stitch. So I think you get the idea. This is just the, the border. I'll show it to you when it's on its, this completed color. So um, I do want to show you though, I'm going to work the rest of this, try to go as quickly as I can because I want to show you a fun way to join these um, or to join your, your last slip stitch because you know, normally when we do the, um, 
to slip stitch to join. We just slip stitch and then continue working. Well, if you're at the end, which we are here, okay, good, so we're at the end. So sometimes I've seen people join like this where they just, okay, here's my first single crochet. where they just slip stitch all the way through like that, and then they fasten off. And pull that through. So, but if you see, it's got like a big sort of not looking piece right there, which sticks out. Now that joins it, but it doesn't really look very good. So there is a way that you can join it and have it look a lot better. So let me pull this out so I can show you what's called an invisible join. Okay, so let me get this guy out of here. Okay, so let's say we're on our last stitch. So that's the last single crochet I'm gonna work. So instead of slip stitching in there and pulling it out, I'm gonna pull, pull it through here. So just pull your yarn through there, okay? Then you take your your needle and then you're going to go find that first single crochet of the round which is right here and you're going to start under so here's your V, right? So here's your V. This one and this one makes your V. So you're going to go under both strands of the V and go through like that. Don't pull it too tight. Do it like nice and loose. Okay, now you see this stitch right here? That's where we came from. We're going to go into there, but instead of going under both strands of the V, we're going to go straight down the middle like this. So straight down and just pull it right through the back like that. And now you can see when you pull that snug, you can see that that just looks like another single crochet. You can't even really tell that that's where your join is. So it lays nice and flat and I did all of these like this. I, you, I don't even know where the join is because you really can't tell once you do that. So then um, you've got your, you know, here's your strand poking out the back. So you just do a little weaving in there a few times, sort of in a zigzag way so it doesn't fall out. And that's it. And then you can just cut it real close. And you see that? It's like you wouldn't even know where that, where that join is. It just looks like another single crochet. And you can do that with a uh, double crochet too. It'll look just the same as, as um, the top of a double crochet. So let me flip my phone. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little stitch tutorial. I know it was a little long, but for those of you who are maybe beginners and maybe needed a little um, extra help reading patterns, I hope this was helpful for you. And I will post the free pattern. Um, I apologize that I wasn't able. Sometimes I'm not technically the best, <laughs> but I'll figure out how to do that next time because we're gonna do these again um, over here on YouTube. And uh, so join me next Wednesday at 1 p.m. on YouTube on Annie's, Cro Annie's Crafts channel for another crochet tutorial. And I will see you next time. Thanks, everyone.